And there we discovered a living connection with his story. These are the Kalash, the black pagans of the Hindu Kush, a tiny survival in a surrounding sea of Islam. They follow ancient gods and speak a language distantly akin to Greek. The people welcomed Alexander and they told him an amazing story. They too were worshippers of the Greek god of ecstasy, Dionysus. Alexander had once again hit gold. From his mother's knee, Alexander had been told tales of Dionysus, how he'd been born far out to the east. Now the people took him to sacrifice on the very mountain where they said Dionysus had been born. To Alexander, it was an unmistakable sign the God was here. Alexander joined them, wearing an ivy crown, drunk on their wine, dancing for the God, just as his mother used to do. And today the Kalash add another twist to the tale. They say some of the Greeks stayed on here under one of Alexander's generals, Shalak Shah. They married local women, and we, the Kalash, are their direct descendants. If the story was true, I drank wine that night with the descendants of Alexander's army.